Hello everyone and welcome to this week's After Effects Quick Tip Scripting Tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how you can run a script or run JavaScript code from terminal or command line inside of After Effects. With this, we'll be able to send individual lines of code to run, or we can execute entire scripts solely from the command line. I do get a lot of requests for how people can run scripts with command lines, so this tutorial is for all those people who continually request it, and now you'll be able to run your own scripts and add this to your automation or background setup. Before we get started with this video, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel and down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And if you'd like to help support the YouTube channel and get cool perks, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP link in the description. So first you want to launch your terminal or command prompt. Uh, if you're on Windows, of course, load command prompt and on Mac, you want to load the terminal and the rest is going to work the same. The first thing we want to do is CD or choose the directory CD of where our After Effects version is. In my case, I'm just loading up t uh, version 2021 here and we want to reference the support files folder. So we'll copy the folder path and inside of terminal or command prompt, we'll say choose directory space and then paste in our path. Now we're inside of the After Effects folder. Um, we can now basically run something called After Effects. There's an actual executable in here called After Effects, which is what runs the application. You can actually check this out in the scripting guide as well uh, here on page three or nine and it says how to run scripts from the command line, a bash file, or you can even run an Apple script script. Like we did, we just need to give it After Effects, the executable file we're dealing with, and then we can give it a different command depending on what we want to do. Now the guide doesn't go into explicit depth about what everything does, which is a little annoying, but we can maybe guess. So we need to provide it a dash r argument if we're going to run the actual script file. Maybe that means we're reading a file, and then if we're just running some code, we need to say dash s. So maybe that indicates we're just running some script code. For now, we can kind of use that as an example and uh, let's move on. So if we want to run some script code ourselves, let's type it from scratch. We'll say after effects. And sometimes you may need to say dot exe, but in my case on Windows, I don't need to. We can then say dash s, we wanna run some script code and then inside of double quotes, we'll put our script code. We can go ahead and just say alert. And since we have double quotes, we need to use single quotes for our alert. We'll say hello. Now, if I go ahead and run this, you can see it's going to load up After Effects. It's actually going to minimize it in my case and then say hello. There is an argument that allows you to say dash no UI, but unfortunately it seems like this is pretty buggy as well. And we'll oftentimes, uh, as you can see here, make the UI do the same behavior. So if you wanna just run maybe a line of code or two, you can easily do that with this. Now let's go ahead and read a script file. Remember we need to use the R uh, argument if we want to use a file. Then we'll go ahead and find a script file and paste the path inside of double quotations. I have a script here on my messy desktop called basic script. And this script is going to allow us to have a UI open. So I'm gonna say, uh, make sure I have the name right. So I'm going to paste the path and I'll go ahead and paste the file name as well. And now when I run that, it's going to actually run the script. So if you need a command prompt way to run the JavaScript extended code or to run a script, uh, you can do this with the command line or terminal quite easily. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates. And in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, submit tutorial ideas, and much more. And you can also become a YouTube channel member in the description to help us out financially and get cool perks with uh, membership, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP status. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.